hard to believe that in some parts of Belleville, the water had come up this high. I'm Jennifer Hoff. Coming up tonight, while that water has receded, you'll see damage remains. Today's rainfall is breaking records set more than 100 years ago. Good evening, I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Eric Franke. First tonight at 10 live team coverage after the storms. Meteorologist Karin Swanson has the latest track on all the rain and storms. The night team's Theo Keith looks at the governor's disaster declaration and talk to some people who say they don't know what to do next. But first, Jennifer Hoff went south to Belleville to see just how bad things are there, Jennifer. Eric, fields are flooded and uh, some major thoroughfares could actually be closed for months. And at one point we talked to a homeowner who had more than a foot of water in his basement. The water was that high on the raspberry. A calm afternoon would only come after rain battered Belleville. It's coming in so fast that it just filled up the whole subdivision back and up into people's yards and then. It would first fill backyards, then by 9 in the morning, it poured into the basement of Bruce Woods. Didn't expect to have this kind of damage. Instead of showing off the room it took years for Bruce to build, he's taking photos to show busy insurance adjusters who still can't come for a couple more days. We need a way to get it out of here faster. Bruce blames a culvert too small and closest to his property. On Wednesday, the county fixed one further away, but it's up to the nearby town of Exeter to tackle the culvert in question. Bruce plans to bring it up at next month's board meeting. Yeah, we haven't had this problem for a couple of three years, yeah. From hard hit hoods to water ravaged roadways. There was water in at least a dozen places between here and, and Highway E, which is three miles down the road. The rain making a mess of the bridge over Story River, washing out its abutments. It's a lot of commuter traffic, yes. Now diverted on a 20 mile detour until the DOT determines how to fix this. A days long deluge that despite an inconvenient conclusion. The insurance, you know, they'll help clean it up. Can only mean drier days are ahead. It's sad, but you know, life goes on. You know, sun came out this afternoon, so it's it's a brighter day. <laughs> that was Highway 92 that you were looking at. And besides that roadway, drivers should know that Highway X, where the Sugar River crosses, is also closed. Along with Highway MM, there's a three mile stretch that uh, stretches from uh, Highway 11 to the Lafayette County line. Those two highways are closed. Eric and the Highway Department said that they probably won't reopen until early next week. Boy, a lot of uh, routes that uh, travelers need to consider out there for closures. Jennifer, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.